in the heart of the African jungle, where towering trees formed a thick canopy that blocked out the sun, there existed a place that few had ever seen, a hidden world of untold wonders and dangers. This place was the enchanted forest, a realm of lush foliage and teeming wildlife, where every step was an adventure waiting to unfold. At its very center, shrouded in mystery and guarded by the forest itself, lay a fabled treasure, the lost city of the jungle. Whispers of its existence had echoed through the ages, enticing explorers and adventurers from around the world. Yet, none had succeeded in finding it, for the enchanted forest was a place that gave as much as it took, and many who ventured in never returned. But one man, raised by the jungle, had made it his mission to uncover the secrets of the enchanted forest, the legendary Tarzan. Strong, agile, and possessing an intimate knowledge of the jungle's ways, Tarzan had been born to this world and had risen to become its protector. The story begins on a bright morning, as the sun's rays penetrated the thick canopy, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. Tarzan, with his lithe and powerful frame, moved gracefully through the treetops. His bronzed skin was adorned with scars, a testament to his lifelong battles with the jungle's perils. On this particular day, Tarzan sensed an unusual energy in the air. The jungle was alive with whispers, and the animals moved with a sense of urgency. It was as if the very heart of the enchanted forest was calling out to him. Tarzan followed his instincts, swinging from vine to vine, deeper into the jungle. He soon came upon a gathering of the forest's wise elders, a council of ancient trees. They murmured in a language only he could understand, revealing a vision of impending danger. A group of outsiders had entered the jungle, a band of ruthless treasure hunters. Armed with machetes and greed in their hearts, they left a trail of destruction in their wake, felling trees and hunting animals for sport. Tarzan's heart sank. He knew that these intruders posed a grave threat to the delicate balance of the enchanted forest. With unparalleled stealth, Tarzan decided to shadow the hunters from the treetops, unseen and unheard. As he watched, his anger simmered at the wanton destruction they wrought upon his beloved jungle. The treasure hunters eventually reached the outskirts of the heartwood, the sacred heart of the enchanted forest. It was a place of legend, rumored to hold the power to heal the land and protect its creatures. The heartwood was hidden behind a colossal waterfall, its entrance guarded by ancient sentient trees with roots that twisted and turned like serpents. Unaware of the magic that surrounded them, the hunters pressed forward, determined to reach the heartwood and plunder its riches. But as they approached, the enchanted trees sprang to life, their roots lashing out like serpentine guardians, blocking the intruder's path. Tarzan watched in awe as the forest itself defended its sacred sanctuary. However, he knew he couldn't let the hunters remain in the forest any longer. He descended from the treetops and confronted the intruders, his presence sending shivers down their spines. Leave this place, Tarzan commanded, his voice carrying the authority of the jungle. You are not welcome here. The hunters hesitated, torn between their greed and the fear that the wild man before them inspired. But their avarice ultimately overcame their trepidation, and one of them raised his rifle, aiming it at Tarzan. A gunshot rang out, shattering the forest's tranquility. But Tarzan was quicker than any of them. He swung from a vine with lightning speed, knocking the rifle from the hunter's grasp. Chaos erupted as the other hunters scrambled to defend themselves, but they were no match for Tarzan's jungle-honed skills. In mere moments, the intruders were disarmed and defeated. Tarzan bound them with vines, leaving them to contemplate the consequences of their actions. He knew that he had to ensure they would never return to the enchanted forest. With the threat of the treasure hunters vanquished, Tarzan turned his attention to the heartwood. He approached the ancient, sentient trees with reverence, as if they were old friends. As he reached out to touch them, a brilliant light enveloped him, and he felt a surge of energy coursing through his veins. 
the Heartwood had recognized him as its protector, bestowing upon him the power to communicate with the forest in ways he had never imagined. With this newfound connection, Tarzan vowed to protect the enchanted forest and its secrets from anyone who sought to harm it. He would be its guardian, ensuring that the magic and beauty of the jungle would endure for generations to come. Over the years, Tarzan continued to defend the enchanted forest from those who would do it harm. He forged alliances with the creatures of the jungle, from the majestic elephants to the clever chimpanzees. Together, they worked to preserve the delicate balance of the forest, and the heartwood flourished. One of Tarzan's closest allies was Tantor, a massive African elephant with gentle eyes and a wise demeanor. Tantor had roamed the jungle for decades, and he had seen the beauty of the enchanted forest slowly eroded by the encroachment of outsiders. Together, Tarzan and Tantor patrolled the jungle, keeping a watchful eye on any threats. Tantor's immense size and Tarzan's agility made them a formidable team, and their bond was unbreakable. With the trials completed, Nia entrusted Tarzan with the talking drum, a sacred instrument with the power to reveal the path to the lost city of the jungle. Tarzan played the drum, and its resonant beat echoed through the forest. As Tarzan played, the ground beneath them trembled, and the tr 